Hello everyone and welcome to the IMV Studio lesson on opacity maps. My name is Prey and I'm a developer creator here on IMVU and I'm going to be showing you what opacity maps are, how they work, and what you can do with them. So first and foremost, you should know that opacity maps are also known as alpha maps. And they are another type of texture you might run into when you're creating. Opacity maps are basically like an additional texture you add to your materials to indicate what areas are opaque or visible and what areas are transparent or hidden. Something else that you need to know about opacity maps is that they are black and white images with white representing the solid areas and black being the see-through areas or hidden areas you don't want shown. But then there's also shades of gray, which are used to create levels of transparency. Examples of what you might want to use for this uh, using transparency would be when you're creating like the surface of water in rooms or if you're wanting to create a sheer flowing gown for a skirt of an outfit you're making. Let me show you what an opacity map looks like on an image when we apply it to our model. Here's the diffuse map for this material and now I'm going to add the opacity and then my own diffuse map for the leaf that I just designed. And there it is. Currently it has this uh, strange blending happening where whatever we see in the back is appearing in the front. We're just going to come here and put alpha test and that should fix that. There we go. But now if we would like to see transparency, I'm going to come over here, add my transparency map, and I'm also going to change this to a composite blend. And there it is. So uh, I don't really know what you'd use this for, but uh, you can see that the opacity map applies all over to every leaf on this uh, mesh that we're creating. Now let me show you what uh, this concept could look like if you were creating it for a outfit. Here's an outfit that I designed. And let's say that maybe I want to add a slit to this side of my skirt. After I have drawn my opacity map, I'm going to come over here and apply and then hit preview. And there it is. So those are some of the ways you can use opacity maps for when you are creating. That's the end of this tutorial and I hope this helped in some way explain what opacity maps are and all the possibilities you can use with them. Thank you and happy creating!